Hi, Eric here from Stinger Electronics. From time to time, Stinger will release new firmware for our multimedia infotainment system. It's a good idea to keep your firmware up to date to support the latest phones, devices, and features, as well as optimize performance. When new firmware becomes available, it's posted on our website, stingerelectronics.com. There, you can also register your radio to become notified by email when new firmware is available. When you see new firmware available on stingerelectronics.com, download it onto a thumb drive. Then follow these simple steps to update the firmware on your multimedia unit. The radio has to be powered on for us to perform the firmware update. So take the key, turn the vehicle on, and let the radio boot to the home screen. Now we can plug a thumb drive into either of the radio's USB ports. From the home screen, touch the settings button, then touch the gear icon, then enter the passcode 15500 and hit OK. Where it says Update Software, touch OK. The screen will turn off and back on several times during this process. That is normal. Be sure to leave the vehicle on and do not turn the radio or the vehicle off during the update process. This will cause irreversible damage to the unit. This process will take several minutes. Once the radio is powered back up and on the home screen, the firmware update is complete. It's okay to now remove the thumb drive. After your firmware update is complete, your Stinger Multimedia Infotainment System will be like a brand new system. So all of your EQ settings, any fade and balance, as well as any radio presets will need to be reset. That completes the firmware update of your Stinger Electronics Multimedia Infotainment System. Thanks for watching.